Hello, hello, and welcome to February 11th. Alphas have American Express now in the lead at 58%. There it is, 58%. So uh, the leader yesterday was XLE, and it fell behind. It's running in second place. So we talked about this yesterday where American Express was two pennies off its high here to qualify for a dipper low exit. Now it did. Look here, we have our marker, and right there at the close, we have 128.31. Call your attention to right there, 28.31. So therefore, we're going to go ahead and do it. So first thing I'll do is I'll take the trend line and mark it here to remind me, just in case I get forgetful, that it's a dipper low qualified. And it, now we set up our guide rails to remind us of when to set that up. And there we are. We have our, we have our setup now for the qualify for a dip below. That's it. American Press 58%, $263 against a nut of $18.79. That takes us on now to XLE. XLE... Uh, okay, XLE is, didn't make it, nope, still has not com completed its obligation at the third ratio, so we're going to hold, there's no change there, and this is a good thing about the ratio exits, you don't have to keep chasing the exit, we just, your first, day, your, after your initial day, like I said, number one, number two, you have your ratio parameters. There's ours. And then you just wait. And if it doesn't close above the third ratio, then it doesn't. It happened to gold today. We'll see. Get it. We'll see. Gold took a one loss ratio. And we saw that PGR took a one loss ratio a couple of days ago. So essentially, we now have a loss of probability 30% of anything. So we've got two losers. And we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in play. And also, we earned extra money today to be able to go out and look for another trade, another possibility, which we have a candidate already, and we are looking at, I forgot who, oh, PGR, which we was the one that got knocked out last couple of days ago. So let's move on. Uh, Nike. So here at Nike, now Nike, I believe, did qualify, and it did. It, it received this qualification right there. And now we have the hipper low, and now we are at the low here, and the low is right here. The low is 142. No, we got to look at this date. So 140, 14090, 10 cents buffer, 14080, and we already have 14080. All right, that takes us on down to Berkshire Hathaway, Mr. Buffett. Okay, so here at Mr. Buffett's uh, little game, it qualified. It's already got its marker there. And now we're waiting for the completion of the formation to go ahead and put in the dipper low. So we still need, we have the low. Now we need a higher, higher low on this side, on the right side, and we'll do that. Okay, now it takes us to Bank of America. Right, Bank of America. We are looking also here. Nope, no qualifier. Our stop has already been moved here. It's got a green because it was in positive. It is in positive territory, so that's that's what they qualify for the green. But it's still, the exit is still the first ratio, and it has not completed the third ratio to qualify for the dipper low. Going on to TJ Max, and <laughs> excuse me. Oh, this thing. There we go. <laughs> uh, now, look at that. We had a nice push up here and fell back. So we're still waiting for TJ Maxx to join the party right there. Okay. That takes us now to our no CVS and RCL have not qualified. So let's go on to our exit today, which is gold, and see what happened there. And here on gold... And possibility, this is maybe too tight. 
But the thing is, look, see, look, we're looking at 173 entry and a 171 out. You want to stay within two to three dollars in this zone. But at the same time, you also got to watch what the price action was. Uh, technically, I could have gone here, but you see, we have a nice down action. We've got one loss. Not, you know, it's just one ratio. Figuring that the, you know, we, we are looking for a three to one ratio, which is we'll take one loss and, and look for three winners. We'll look for a, uh, a, a three to one exit in the future to pay off that one loss. Also, so you can see here, I have this all the way up to 10. Yes, I have occasionally run into a couple of issues that just ran away and did it. So that's what happens with gold. So I'm going to switch gears. We're not going to go to prime binary options just yet. And I have to make a confession here. I blew it. Yeah, last night, binary options. I got a little bit uh, gunslinger. And so where I was ahead yesterday, I'm now 850 behind on the binary options. But I'm still getting my sea legs, and I'm discovering some some bad particularities about it. But I want to do is I want to go on to PGR. And why PGR? Because PGR qualified for a new entry. Yes, PGR qualified for a new entry. Look down below. Look at the parameters. What is our first parameter of the STO strategy? An uptick. We have a very small uptick. The scanner picked it up for us. Number two, we have an uptick on the RSI. And number three, we have the histogram is increasing. Therefore, it qualifies. Now, what is going to be the setup? Well, the setup first, well, this is the old stuff. So I'm going to move it out of the way. So I have to rewrite all this over again. And I'm going to take the three to one ratio. And we're going to go here. And that is going to become the new ratio right there. So price breaks above this high, which you can see over here. You can see right there, 786.75. I'm going to add 10 cents for a buffer. So I'm going to make that. Uh, I'm going to make that high. Oh, it's high. 86.86. Uh, 86, uh, round off to uh, 80.90. Yeah. So I'm going to go nine zeros or 10 cents, something in there. That's it. That's very subjective, arbitrary. Everybody has all kinds of little fancy rules about the buffer. All right. That said, our entry is going to be on the high here. Oh, I was on the wrong candle to begin with. The high here is 86.97. I'll make it 87 even or 87.05. Look, that's fine. Works. And down here at the bottom, uh, the low is 85.04. I'll go ahead and just make that plain 85. And that's going to be that ratio. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for the third ratio to match up with prior price. That is good prior price. This is, this was, so right there is we have a drop, drop, drop. We have a, we have a base and then drop, drop, drop. So uh, that was going to become our target for it. And then we're going to set up the, um, set up the uh, trade very shortly. And you'll see this on the, hopefully we get triggered tomorrow. If not, but we wait it out. We, once this is established, if it doesn't trigger tomorrow, as long as the option value does not change, don't worry about changing the ticket. Just make sure that the parameters are all met and, 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 all, the, and all the conditions are in the right notion. Remember, we had one loss ratio right here. So now we're looking for an opportunity for make to repeat this run on the opposite side, get the three to one, pay back three, knock off one for the loss and get the get two to one. All right. Well, that is that for today's time. We're out of time again. I apologize. Uh, we'll get the binary options when I want to be able to really show you some good stuff on binary options. So with that, so we're going to conclude today's report with the um, alphas at American Express at 58%. Thank you very much for stopping by.